Look, I really love skiing. I'd do almost anything to go snow skiing, but this is beyond the pale. Of course, I could just sit here in the middle of Adelaide waiting for it to snow, but since it's 20 degrees here in the middle of winter, and it's never snowed here ever, I think I'm going to be wasting my time. So what do you do if you live in a place where it doesn't snow and you want to go snow skiing? Well, fortunately for me, although there's no snow here, about 10 yards in that direction, there's plenty of it. So let's get all this nonsense off and go to where the snow is. As you can see, Mount Theverton is a purely artificial mountain. Underneath that slope are refrigeration pipes. And by piping liquid through that, you can keep all this snow nice and crisp and frozen all the year round. So it doesn't matter how hot it gets out there or how sunny it is outside, inside there's year round skiing. And once you're down here, it's very easy. You simply go over there, there's an escalator. It takes you all the way up to the top again and round and round you go. Well, what makes this all possible is, of course, this white stuff. But it's not snow, it's perma-snow. See, if you take water and you freeze it, you get this. Just a solid block of ice. There it is. And, of course, that's done here too. It's done over there. If you flood a large pan with water and put refrigeration pipes through it, it'll turn to ice and it makes a skating rink. Although you can get round on it very well, you can only do it with skates. You can't ski on ice. For that, you need your ice not in a solid form, but in this form, powdery. It's snow. And the difference between that sort of ice and that sort of ice is really this. It's a most interesting chemical. It's called a polymer, and it's an Australian invention. Now, polymers are interesting for many reasons. One of them is that they can absorb a huge amount of water. They're used in babies' nappies for that reason. They absorb water, but they seem to remain dry. And this polymer is no exception. It was developed just in Australia for making perma-snow. Watch this. Now, as you can see, that water has really vanished. And the resulting stuff here, this gel, is really quite dry. I could keep on doing that and all the water would seem to disappear into this polymer gel. Well, that's taken about twice its own volume of water, but to make perma-snow, you'd use about as much water as you'd have in a rainwater tank, and it would just make this great liquid gel. If you could examine it, the polymer chains of molecules would seem to be like very long strings threading their way through the liquid. And when you freeze it, they're still there. So it acts really like a huge block of very cold plastic. Now, you know, if you take a plastic uh, toothbrush and you grind it up into granules, those granules won't stick together. If you take ordinary ice, they will. The granules will stick together and become a block of ice again. But with this polymer running through these granules, they can't do that. And as long as they're kept cold, they remain as separate granules. And so they remain as separate lumps of snow. And because of it, all the year round, you can ski here at Mount Thibberton. So come here. Good skiing. <laughs> 